Hi, this is Dave uh, again. Um, you know, I wanted to talk to you about a very important principle in the Orthodox uh, belief, in the Orthodox way. You know, you have a lot of people who talk about salvation and by believing in Jesus, that he is your Lord and Savior, that you are automatically saved and that um, you will receive heaven. You will be in his presence. Now, I'm not here to say that um, that type of thought process is right or wrong, but I am here to to tell you, I, I do know what the Bible says. Uh, the Bible says that if you believe in Jesus, you, um, you will be saved, um, and I don't dispute that. Uh, I do believe that it's important to uh, not only believe in him, but also follow him and what does it mean to follow him i think that's the the error in judgment um with many people who say hey i believe in jesus but i'm still um, getting caught up with a lot of my addictions i don't feel like a new creature i feel like uh, my life is uh is unhappy i still have a lot of you know uh, prideful things sinful things that i'm doing that i'm participating in and uh, i thought it was going to all change right i thought it was all going to change when i believe in jesus and i'm born again and i'm i'm actually now able to to um live my life with christ and i want to say that that certainly um there are many who don't really understand the the next level and the next level, when you believe in Christ, I, I believe that's the beginning. Uh, and, and I believe in the scriptures, it teaches us quite a bit. I mean, if you only point out, like, I believe that I'm saved, I believe that I'm saved, what happens is that um, you sort of rest on that. And you don't desire to uh, engage yourself in a synergistic way with, with Christ, with God to continue to grow in your your holiness your um your your yeah your holiness with god and i think i think it's really very important why i like orthodoxy so much is because they really um they really teach theosis and theosis is really a a the purpose of our lives the the purpose after we believe and after we engage in Christ and participate with the sacraments and and um, uh, and also the things that make us more connected to Christ that we we actually our purpose is to become more Christ-like to become more God-like and by becoming more God-like what what that means is that we don't go back to the vomit we don't participate back in the vomit and engage in in sinful natures and continue to to do those things that uh, were part of our lives uh, before we accepted Christ. <clears throat> so what I want to do is teach you a little bit about what theosis is in orthodoxy. Theosis is is becoming more God-like, that we have a synergistic um, relationship and through our discipline uh, with with our spiritual walk with God, we become more infused more and more infused with uh, his holiness his grace his light so that we now become more humble we become more of a servant of his that we we have more of a disciplined approach in our the way we walk with him so what i mean by that is like you know prayer is essential um, in orthodoxy there's a lot of prayers there's a lot of uh, ancient prayers uh, to say the lord's prayer is essential uh, because when you say the Lord's Prayer, you're really, your mind and your heart is connected to God so that you do not participate uh, in, a, in a way that, to have this sinful nature. One of the things uh, that's essential too is, is forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. What does that mean? Well, you know, if people have hurt you and offended you or maybe stole from you or hurt your children or, or um, you know, done, you know, done really wrongful things to you it is 
the the way to as a Christian to forgive others if you forgive others God says he will also forgive you if you do not forgive you cannot be forgiven so essential essential to be a part uh, of that that awareness and that understanding but theosis is really becoming more godlike and so becoming more godlike is is engaging in a synergistic way with God so that you can um, you can have more of his his divine energies his divine grace and how does that work well I'm gonna give you an example you know let's say if you have a sword this was shared with me and I think it's a great illustration let's say if you have a sword right you are the sword and you're you have metal and you put yourself uh, into a fire the unquenchable fire right and that unquenchable fire gets really hot you take upon the properties of that because you are doing that now you are in the fire and you are different from the fire you'll never be God but you're taking on the properties because it's getting so hot right and by being in the fire you take upon the properties of the fire and that's sort of what theosis is it's it's like you you, you engage in the fire you you are participating in the fire you you have this this relationship this partnership with god the will of god right that you engage in him and then what happens you you obtain more light and as you obtain more light, remove yourself and you take more of God in you. And as you take more of God, you become more God-like. And so now that you see sin, Paul said, you don't go back to the vomit. You don't desire to do that. You, you repel from it. You desire to say, I don't want to engage in that, Lord. Bless me with your spirit. Bless me that I might have more of your grace so that I no longer am trigger happy to do that, right? Uh, one of the things I really love about orthodoxy, they teach you about um, the the concept of Adam and Eve, and that's the the view of what happened with the, the the tree, right, of good and evil. Now, the tree in orthodoxy represents the world, and the fruit that that Eve partook of was the passions and desires of the world, right? So, if you think of the world, the world is always, you know teasing us to be sinful, right? To engage in these these worldly things and if you you participate more in the world what happens? You you uh, participate more in the passions and by doing that what happens to you? You actually leave the presence of God, right? Because God is not the world. So one of the things I, I do want to share with you is is that concept of theosis. We are called as disciples and followers to to rid ourselves with God's grace of sin that we no longer engage in it we we make a very strong under, uh, understanding in our, our heart and our mind if we see things that are uh, lustful that we don't engage we look at our shoes like father Justin would say you look at your shoes if you see a, a woman who's dressed you know inappropriately and sexually you look at your shoes more um, willing to have God's grace upon us, right? And that's, I mean, all, I want you to know, do we have the fullness of his grace and the fullness of the Holy Spirit within us? Or do we have a portion of it a lot of times, you know? If you're, if you're having the fullness of, of God's Holy Spirit, you become very aware of, 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 of everything in, in God's understanding, so you do not desire to engage and participate in sin, right? So it is a process. Uh, sanctification is a process. Uh, but it's important to think that way. It's important to be engaged and think that when you become a disciple, this is the step. And that's why I like orthodoxy, because they have the medicine. They really have the medicine uh, to help you, to help you become, to fight off, you know, and not engage in, in sin and have more of God's grace. You know, we're a vessel. We, we, we rid ourselves, rid ourselves, rid, say, I, I, I want to have Dave Bartosowitz decay, decay, and eliminate my worldly and, and uh, prideful ways and lustful ways and, and pour more of God's spirit. God pours his grace into me and fills me up by, by engaging in, in, in a disciplined spiritual life. And it's a commitment. That's what I'm saying. Um, salvation is, is there quick, but at the same time, we are called to what? To engage in a more godlike life.
Now, if you are not doing that, if you're not enduring to the end, Paul says the best. He says, you know, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Uh, we have to endure to the end. We have to follow the commandments. We have to be a part of this walk to, to show more seriousness. It's not just saying, okay, I'm good now. I accepted Christ and I'm done. No, it's not that. It's more of a process of, of uh, having more of a, a spiritual life and, and being fused with his divine energies and see more about his love. So when you look at people, it's God's eyes that you, you know, you're looking through. Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense to you guys. God bless you. I just want to give that little tidbit and hope that teaches a little more about orthodoxy.